church of the big bend where we got, uh, love, honor God, love family, serve others, and we pursue excellence. Yes. And we also have a passion for God and a passion for souls. Amen. Each and every one of you that's in the body of Christ, the church, should have a passion for God and a yes. passion for souls on a Amen. daily basis. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Praise God. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. And we want to welcome all our NBC family, all the visitors, and all those of you that are joining us by audio and video. Amen. Buenos dias. Good morning to you. Amen. Prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Amen. He's got something for you. And uh, we're going to be continuing with the um, Let God Arise yes, in your life on a daily basis. Amen. Every day, not just once in a while, not just when you're feeling good or once when you think about it. Right. Or, you know, when things are right, we think about it. You know, we don't think, but we forget about it. Yeah. But uh, let him arise in your life on a daily basis. Amen. So he's not finished with you. He wants to do great things with you. Uh, just know that you're a winner in him. He put you here for a reason. And that reason is to win and not lose. Amen. So let's remember that. So. Get your Bibles ready, and yes. let's make this declaration together. Amen. Amen. So this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be talking the Word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. I guarantee you that mine is alert all the time. And it's going 100 miles all the time. Amen. You just got to. Make sure that you think of the right things. Amen. Amen. Because it pops in your head, don't mean you gotta it's gotta pop out of your mouth. Exactly. You gotta put a guard there and, yes. and control your words, amen. Because yeah. uh the Bible tells us that death and life are in the power of the tongue uh -huh. or the words you speak. Yes. So careful because if you let them out, they'll go out and they'll grow and they're gonna grow in your life, amen. So you don't want that to happen. So we're going to continue with let God arise daily in your life. Amen. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Or you can say it like this. Let God arise in your cares, in your troubles, in your problems. And these things shall, shall scatter. They'll go because yes. you're letting God arise and you're letting God be God of your life. Amen. Amen. First scripture we want to talk about is Psalm 68 and 1. Amen. That's a good one. Psalm 68 and 1 says this. It says, let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Amen. And these enemies are going to come against you. And last week we find out that your enemy, the devil. Amen. We find out it wasn't uh, your, your spouse. <laughs> it's not your mother-in-law. Mm -hmm. It's not your boyfriend, girlfriend, or your co-worker. It's the enemy. Amen. Amen. We blame it on everybody else, you yep. know. And we try to do God's job from time to time, you know. And we want to lay hands on them. That's not the right thing to do. Amen. It says that your enemies, let your enemies be scattered. You know these enemies that come against you? David fought a giant. You know what? We fight giants on a daily basis. <laughs> and if you're not prepared and you haven't spent time with him on a daily basis before you go out into the world, there's some giants out there waiting on you. Mm -hmm. They're called troubles. They're called problems. They're called fears. They're called yeah. whatever. Yeah. But they're out there. They're out there. And if, if you're not with him, you don't know how to deal with them. That's because it. you try to deal with them in the flesh. And yeah. we're talking about spiritual battle. Yeah, yeah. Spiritual battle on a daily basis. Uh -huh. yep. And if you're not in the word and you, if you're not in him, you know, <laughs> you're going to be down and out. Yes. Amen. And you're going to be defeated. Amen. If you're a Christian and you got the word of God in you and you're not speaking it, you're already defeated. Yeah. Why is it in you? Get it in you and speak it out. Yeah. You know, speak the word of God in you. Amen. Psalm 68 and 1 again says, Let God arise, let his enemies be scattered. Let those also who hate him flee from him. Amen. Let those also who hate him flee before him. Woo. Hallelujah. You know, <laughs> There's me, it, Jesus says, they hate me, they're going to hate you. Right, exactly. Amen. Yeah. These things are going to come against you. And you, you're going to have troubles on a daily basis, whether you like it or not. If you're not having problems, you need to get saved. Amen. Amen. <laughs> because these things are going to come at you on a daily basis. Yes. John 8, uh, next one is John 8, 31 and 32. Oh, okay. Thank you. Next one. Hallelujah. John 8, 31, 32 says, If ye continue in my word, 
then ye are my disciples indeed, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Okay? One translation says it will set you free. Amen? As a matter of fact, I've got it here. I'll, I'll, I'll read it to you from the uh, New King James. It says, Then Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him, If ye abide in my word, and are you are my disciples indeed. Yes. And verse 32 says, And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Amen. You know, if you got the word of God in you, <laughs> it's going to make you free because you're free from all these mindsets, from all these negative things, all the negative stuff the world brings at you on a daily basis. Amen. Yes, sir. And uh, John 8, 31, 32, and the New Living Translation says this, says, Jesus said to the people who believed in him, you are truly my disciples. It says, if you remain faithful to my teachings and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free amen amen the truth is going to set you free and when you're free stay free how mm -hmm. by studying by meditating by speaking the word and not falling back in those bad things <laughs> and yeah. confessing the wrong things yeah. and doing the wrong things it's going to set you free because now you know what the word of god says mm -hmm. and you're confessing the word and not confessing the problem That's you're right. magnifying the word you're magnifying him and not the problem. That's it. Amen. You, you, you know, you just magnified it. God says, what did I say about those things? No. You're not saying, you're not confessing with the word of God, what he told us to say. We're confessing the native stuff. Amen. Yeah. So, let God arise daily in your lives. Surrender to him daily. James 4, 7. We've got all kinds of scriptures about this, but I chose James 4, 7. It mm -hmm. says what? Submit yourself yeah. to God. Resist mm -hmm. the, devil, the devil, and he'll, he'll stay with you. No, please, 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 please. He says he'll flee from you. That's it. I mean, he's got a book. He's got a coat. Okay, he ain't, he ain't gonna want to hang around with you no That's more. It. Amen. <laughs> now, giant didn't hang around with David because David killed him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. But you know how you kill your giants is you speak the word. That's it. You speak the word, and they've got to go. Amen. That's it. So James four seven says submit, commit, mm -hmm. surrender yourself to God says resist the enemy that means you got to take authority and that's what david did he took authority we got to do that on a daily basis yes. let that david and you rise up mm -hmm. you know let the word of god rise up in you that's and good. take authority you have authority if you choose yes, to take exactly. it yes. amen yeah. amen if you're not going to take it guess what they just don't hang out with you that's amen. It. amen i don't want them hanging out with me amen no. <laughs> says praise him and give him thanks Yes. And we had a praise team did a great job. They did awesome today. And yeah, one of the things that we read was Psalms 100. We're going to read it here in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. But they also uh, had uh, this song that's one of my favorites. And it goes like this. And it says, with my hands lifted up and my mouth filled with praise. Amen. We fill our mouth with all kinds of stuff. Yeah. And you know, when you oh, fill your yeah. mouth, you got to speak it out. Mm -hmm. and, and, and if it's not godly, you're going to have what you say. Mm -hmm. But it says, with my mouth filled with praise and with a heart of thanksgiving. It says, I will bless thee, O Lord. Mm -hmm. Man, this is great. Amen. It says, I will bless thee, O Lord. I will bless thee, O Lord, with a heart of thanksgiving. Amen. I will bless thee, O Lord. So we want to. Praise Him and give Him thanks on a daily basis. Don't forget. You know, He don't forget about you. We forget about Him. Yep. Amen. And the problem is not in Him. The problem is not with Him. The problem is with us. We got to fix this. You know, when you look in the mirror, when you're looking so nice and pretty and all that, <laughs> then say to yourself, I got to fix this. <laughs> Amen. On the outside, we may look nice, nice, nice. But on the inside, we got to fix we got to fix this. And we got to start saying the right things, confessing the right things. Amen. We're still going here. Let God arise daily in your lives. Rejoice and be glad daily. Psalms 118. Man, yeah. this will be one of the first things you say when you wake up. Hmm. Besides, thank you for waking me up. Lord. Amen. Amen. He's got on it. He's, he, he's, he woke you up because you got a mission. And if he put you on a mission, he put you on a mission to win, not to lose. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. But Psalms 118 says what? Rejoice. This is the day I have given you. He says, rejoice and be glad in it. Why? Amen. Because God is with you. Because God is backing you. Because he said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. He's there with you all the time. 
And if God is with you, you ain't you ain't gonna lose. Amen. Amen. You ain't gonna lose. And you know you you put on the armor of God, and guess what? All your protection is right there with you. It's not in the back because it's, if you cower yeah. and you run, your back is exposed. <laughs> yes. It says set and keep your priorities in right order. Lord, hey, you know what? You to make sure that He's on the throne every day, mm -hmm. not you. <laughs> Dethrone yourself and put Jesus on the throne. Yes. Amen. It says uh, choose your priorities. I know we all have priorities at work. We have priorities it, wherever we are. We have priorities. And we some we write them down, but we always forget to put Jesus first. Oh, mm. Amen. Set your priorities right. It says, uh, let's go there right quick. Matthew six thirty three. Everybody knows it, but that's okay. Basic construction before leaving earth. That's yes. the word of God. Amen. Mm. Matthew six and mark this down, highlight it, personalize it, huh. <laughs> and learn it and speak yes. it out. Amen. Mm. Matthew six thirty three says what? It says, but seek ye first. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. It says, and all the excuse me, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added on to you. Yes. And listen, verse 34 says this. Take therefore no thought for tomorrow, for tomorrow shall take uh, thoughts for the things of self. Yep. Sufficient yeah. unto the day is the evil thereof. Absolutely. You know, tomorrow is enough problem for tomorrow. That's Just it. Take care of today. Take care today. Another song they sung today was one day at a time. And that's what we need to do. One day at a time. Don't rush yourself. Don't rush yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but one day at a time. Amen. Amen. So Matthew 6, 33. Set those priorities right on a daily basis. Amen. Amen. I mean, remind yourself. It's okay to, re to say these things, you know. Know that you can do all things through Christ. Man, Philippians 4, 13. I can do all things through Christ. And personalize that. It says, Jose can do all things through Christ. Amen. Amen. You put your name on there. Hey, this is the Word of God. But you know what? I put my name all over the Word of God. It's okay. Highlight it. Underline it. Personalize it. Make it yours. Amen. Know that greater is He that's in you than He that's in the world. 1 John 4, 4. Know this. Just on daily basis remind myself thank you Lord that you're with me amen he is greater or is he that is in you than he that is in the world what's in the world anything and everything that is not of God yes. amen that's coming against you you know greater is he that's in me and he's going with me and I'm going to speak yeah. his word First John 4 4 amen it's blessing me I don't know about you yeah. you got to let it Praise bless you God. So listen to this. What are you letting rise up in your life daily? Huh? Good question. Are you focusing your actions, your words, your energy, and your thoughts on Him? Hmm. Yeah. You might say things are hard right now. You've lost my. You lost your job. You lost finances. You lost loved ones. You lost, or your health is bad. Is bad. Somebody did me wrong. Somebody walked out. <laughs> you know, oh wow, you know, all these things. You might mag you know what you're doing is you magnifying your problem. Yeah, that's it. You're magnifying the wrong things. Yeah. Yes. Amen. You're letting defeat, discouragement, and self pity rise up. Yep. Turn that around. How do I turn Amen. this around? You magnify God yes. and keep those priorities in order. Yes. And keep him on top of your priorities. Amen. Amen. And you can put them in the bottom when you go to when you go to sleep, you know, just say, Lord, I'm yours. Mm -hmm. Good night, Lord. Amen. Amen. He's there with you all the time. Why? Because God is still in control. Yes, Listen, yes. He's in control if you let Him. Yeah. Let me see what we got here. Okay, keep going. There we go. Exodus fourteen fourteen. You might want to write that down. Exodus fourteen fourteen in the Amplified says, "The Lord will fight your fight." And you shall hold your peace oh, and wow. remain at rest. Yes. Man, I'm restless today. Oh. Why? Because you know why? Because you're fighting the battles yourself. Yes. And you're not turning it over to him. What does he say? Easy, easy. We, 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 we read this all the time and we say it all the time. He says, cast it on me. Mm -hmm. yep. He says, give it to me. Amen. Yeah. But if you're not giving it to him, you're not going to be, you're not going to have rest. Right, you're going to be restless. Yeah. Amen. I couldn't sleep. Or oh, I couldn't do this. You know, I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't. No, you can't. You know why? Because you're trying to fight a spiritual battle yeah. with your flesh. Yeah. yeah. And you're going to be defeated every time. Yeah. But this says, 
the Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. Amen. I got peace. Thank Remember you. we talked about this? You know, if somebody, you meet somebody out there and they're going to try to give you all their problems, all their troubles, and, yeah. and tell you all these things. He says, so calm, you know, so peaceful. Mm -hmm. This is why. Because yes, God's doing is. all my battling for me, all my fighting for me. Mm -hmm. And I'm confessing the right things. Amen. Let him. <coughs> Somebody walked on you. Somebody hurt. Hurt. Uh, somebody hurt you. Mm -hmm. No, God is your restorer. You lost your job. Uh, lost finances. Loved loved ones. Know that God is your provider. He'll supply all your needs. He is your healer. Amen. Just oh. know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Praise God. Amen. Mm -hmm. He'll fight your battles for you. As you see the slide right there. When you start giving God glory and letting Him arise, your life, in your life, you cannot stay defeated. Amen. You Amen. cannot, you cannot stay defeated. Amen. Let God, let the Lord fight your battles. He hasn't lost one yet. Amen. Mm. He never will. So you know, he, he never will. That's it. So why not stay on the winning team? Yes. I want to be on God's team. How about you? Mm -hmm. You know, you're down and out. You know, and you still haven't even received Him as the Lord and Savior. You're still running from Him. You're still trying to be like that prodigal son, you know. Yo, boy. And the world's going to have you. Yeah. And nobody's going to say nothing good about until you, you until you come. You know, you say, Lord, sure. I make you my Lord and Savior. Receive Him. You know, now's the time. You put it off long enough. Your yeah. enemies will be scattered. Mm -hmm. They'll you. trouble. They'll tremble at the words of faith that you speak. Speak the right thing. Speak faithful words. Uh, begin right now by declaring God's goodness in your life and then yeah. God arise so that you can move on forward so he said well, I'm gonna press on press on with God press on and do the right things you know mm -hmm. he didn't make you to stay back he didn't make you to be defeated no. he made you to win and he made you to press on not yeah. backwards I'm pressing on with Jesus on a daily basis amen and guess what you're gonna have you're gonna have victory in Jesus on a daily yes. basis so yeah. praise God amen yes hallelujah thank you Lord again you go. There we go. I want to be right there. Psalm 68, verses 1 through 3. And you see on the slide, it's weird on the watching. But it says, Let God arise, let his enemies be scattered. Let those who hate him flee before him. Yeah. Since smoke is driven away, mm -hmm. so drive them away. As wax melts before the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence yeah. of God. But let the righteousness be righteous be glad. Let them rejoice before God. Yes, let them rejoice exceedingly. If you notice, I highlighted. Yes. Huh? If you notice, I highlighted all the lets. There's a lot of lets there. There's seven of them in these three verses. But it says, "Let" is an action word. Give God permission. Allow Him to speak. Allow Him to participate and solve these problems. Amen. Let Him. Let God let go and let God. When you let go, you give it to him. When you let go, you cast it on him. Amen. It's yours, Lord. I don't want it. Why me? He says, give it to me. Uh -huh. He says, cast it on me. Why are you still holding on to it? So let here is an action word. Yes. That uh so you say, Go ahead, Lord. Do what needs to be done in my life. Yes. You know what's best for me, Lord. <laughs> Praise God. Let is also a power word. It involves your will. It involves your choices. It involves your decision. Yes. Yeah. Amen. So it's awesome. We we gotta let him. Let 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 let. You know. Hmm. Thank you, Lord. Jose, let God arise. Mm -hmm. and let his enemies be scared. Yes. Amen. Yes. So yes. Yes. hey, I got I got I got I got something to do. Mm -hmm. I have something to do. It involves your will, your choices, and your decision. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Psalms 91, 1 through 3, in the easy to read version, I wrote this. It says, You can go to God. It says, You can go to God most high to hide. Mm -hmm. You can go to God, all oh, powerful, for protection. Yes. And say to God, You are my, ple and my place of safety, yes. my fortress, my God. I trust you. Amen. Amen. You're trusting in Him. Yes. Praise God. It says God will save you from hidden dangers and from deadly diseases. Amen. 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 So listen, on a daily basis, you can read Psalms 91. It's, uh -huh. it's a good psalm to read. Yes. Amen. So praise God. Lord. 
Yes. Let me see. Let me let me go through to the King James and read Psalms 91 here. I know all of you know it by heart. <laughs> I've got it all highlighted in all 16 verses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> and it starts off with this at the top, mm -hmm. and it says, the security of the godly. Mm. And the three we read it says that he dwelleth, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Almighty. Either you could say he's your umbrella mm. of protection. Yes. He's your safety. He says, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in him, I will trust. He says, surely he shall deliver thee from uh, the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Amen. Amen. All this, just read it for yourself. Mm -hmm. Amen. Like I said, I got all 16 verses mm -hmm. highlighted. You can read, it, read, it, read them all for yourself. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I won't keep you long. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Amen. So anyway, uh Psalms one hundred as a matter of fact, let's go back to Psalms one hundred. We were just right there. Close to yes. it. Psalms one hundred. I think I've got all them highlighted too. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These are great psalms and yes. of praise. Psalms one hundred it's not uh it's not long, but it says make a joyful noise Lord. unto the Lord, all ye lands. Mm -hmm. It says, serve the Lord with sadness. Gladness. Oh, I need to correct that. <laughs> <laughs> serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. sadness. Singing. 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 Yeah. So if you hear me saying, don't blame me. <laughs> I'm just obeying the word of God. <laughs> Three says, and know ye that the Lord, he is God, and is he who is uh, made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. So he is our pastor. Yep. Mm -hmm. Amen. He is our pastor. He's a sheep of we're the sheep of his pasture. Yes. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Yeah, and enter his yeah. courts yeah. with praise. praise. Be thankful unto him and bless yeah. his yeah. name. Amen. Yeah. For the Lord is good, yeah. his mercy is everlasting, yeah. and his truth endureth yeah. to all yeah. generations. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Oh, man, I am blessed. I told the praise and worship team when it was done, he says, You all bless my socks off. <laughs> <laughs> and you know while we're in Psalms let's go ahead and turn to Psalms 150 okay. might as well read this now <laughs> I'm getting a little ahead of myself but <laughs> man, it's just blessing me mm. and it says mm. let everything <laughs> praise the Lord that's how it yeah. starts off with let everything praise the Lord it says praise you the Lord Praise God in the sanctuary. Uh -huh. Praise Him in the permanent of His power. power. Praise Him for His mighty act. Yes. Acts. It says yes. praise Him according to His excellent, excellent greatness. greatness. Yes. Praise Him with the sound of the trumpet. Yes. Praise Him with the salty, salty and the heart. Listen. Mm -hmm. It's okay to use instruments to praise Him. Right? We talked about praise before. Yeah, yeah. Praise is a weapon. Yes. Amen. It's not a defeat. It's a weapon. Mm -hmm. And you can praise him in many ways. You use your hands and you lift your hands, mm -hmm. or you can just lay before him, or you can just, uh, man, all kinds of ways. Yes. Sing it, sing yes. it, you know. Praise God. Uh, where are we? Okay, verse we're four. in verse four. Three. Three? No, four. Four. Praise him with the tremble and, uh, yes. and dance. There's another thing you can do. You can dance. I've seen you out there, you know. When them mariachis were playing, you weren't sitting down. You was up and dancing. <laughs> Amen. And you come to church and you don't want to move. Yeah. Amen. You don't even want to raise your hands. And you was out there dancing, oh, clapping your hands and lifting your arms uh -huh. and just dancing all around. Oh, gosh. But it says, dance, praise him with string, uh, string instruments and organ. Praise him uh, upon the loud cymbals. Praise him yeah. upon uh, the high sounding cymbals. Yeah. And let everything yeah. that has yeah. breath. Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Praise, praise ye the Lord. The Lord. Amen. Uh -huh. Like I said, uh, <laughs> He's seen us. Because He never leaves you, no forsakes you, you know. And He knows what you're praising. And we yeah. come to church and we don't want to praise Him. And we don't even want to sing. Church don't even want to sing anymore. Amen. So, He says, if you don't praise Him, He says, you'll make the rocks, rocks. praise Him, you know. 
So, that's I don't want no right to take my place. <laughs> Nehemiah 8.10 uh, says what? The, the latter part of it, the B part says, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Amen. So, be joyful. There you go. That's beautiful. Nehemiah 8.10. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Mm -hmm. So why are you walking around sad all the time? Yeah, something to me. You know what? When, when, when you know God, we need we, we the body, the church, should be the happiest people. Yes. Amen. And that should be contagious. You know, joy, smile, kindness, all these things are contagious. You know, people want to want these things. You know, but so is sadness and madness. You know, mm -hmm. we don't want to give those things. Numbers uh, 1035 says this, And let it come to pass that when the ark set forth, and Moses said, Rise up, Lord, and let thine enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee yes. before thee. Amen. So we just confess the word. We're in the word. And these things have to go. Submit yourself to God. Resist the enemy. And he has to go. Yes. Amen. Let God arise. And his enemies be scattered. Yeah. Let God arise and your enemies, your troubles, your problems, your cares have to flee. Amen. They have to go. If you're confessing the word, these the things change. Yeah. And they're going to change for the for the better. Oh yeah. Yes. For the good. Amen. Yeah. James 4 7, we already said this, but James 4 7 says this. Yes. Submit yourself to God. Submit yourself, therefore, to God. Mm -hmm. Resist the devil, yeah. and he will flee from you. From you. The easier rebirth is this. So, give yourself to God. Stand against the devil, and he will run away from you. Mm -hmm. Another word for flee is run away, escape, take off, fly. You got to go. He's got to go. And then he has no choice. I'm confessing the word of God, and he has to go. Jesus already defeated him. He's a defeated foe. Yes, he is. You confess the word and he's got the book. He's got the book. Yes. We must stand our ground and use our authority. Amen. We're the church. We're the body of Christ. Amen. So we should be confessing the word of God. We should be speaking the word of God. Yes. Fill yourself with the word. Amen. This is what we use as we go on our daily mission. You know, Conf read the word, confess the word, study the word, and speak the word. Amen. And things are going to change. Amen. Amen. And you're going to be victorious. You're going to have a victorious day, a triumphant day in Him. Amen. For, uh, for, uh, First Peter five and seven. Keep going. First Peter five and seven says this: Casting all your cares upon Him, why He can care for you. Yes. And the Amplified goes like this: It says, Casting all your cares, all your anxieties, all your worries, all your concerns, once and for all, on Him. Amen. For he cares about you with deepest yes. affection and watch over you very carefully. Yes, amen. amen. He never lets go. He says, That's I'll it. never leave you nor forsake you. We walk away from him. He doesn't walk away from us. So are you reading the right word? Are you reading the word of God? Amen. Mm -hmm. Because you're confessing the wrong things. Make sure that you're confessing the right things. And you got to open the Bible. To read it. Yes, mm -hmm. And when you read it, then correct yourself. Mm -hmm. Because he don't make mistakes. That's it. Amen. His, his word doesn't make mistakes. We need to confess the right thing. Amen. Amen. You gotta confess it just right. Uh first Peter five seven, the new living version says this. Give all your worries, anxieties, care, trouble, problems, whatever they are, to him because he cares about you. Yes. Somebody tells you God don't care about you. Mm -hmm. They're a liar. They're, thank you. They're a liar. Mm -hmm. Amen. Somebody says something about if it's not in the word, <laughs> you need to know this because if it's not in the word, don't receive it. Yes, yes. Ask him, is this is this scriptural? No, a brother so and so or sister so and so <laughs> said it. Well, if they don't have scripture for it, uh -huh. why are you going around yes. confessing it? Amen. We hear yep. words and we hear words in the world. And we receive it, and all of a sudden we start saying it. Yeah, yeah. Especially cuss words. No, oh, you don't find them in the Bible. Nope. And we say them real well, mm. <laughs> and we learn them real fast. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> so just get rid of them. Yes, amen. That's not blessing you, and that's not blessing anybody. Amen. That's it. And you're a child of God. You shouldn't be saying those. That's it. <laughs> 
You still love pastor, right? Amen. <laughs> Second Timothy 1 and 7 says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power and love and of a sound mind. I just want to say, the, the just shall walk by faith. Mm -hmm. Amen. It says that we walk by faith and not by sight. We walk by faith and not we walk by faith and not by fear. That's it. Amen. When you're full of the word, you're not gonna walk in fear no more. You're gonna walk in faith. I'm gonna step out in faith. Especially his word said it. I'm gonna step out. And I'm gonna step out in faith. Praise God. There's a lot of things out there. If you ain't walking in faith, you're gonna walk in fear because what you see. That's it. Wow. You know, you're gonna be <laughs> mesmerized mm -hmm. I said wow I can't believe that mm -hmm. well be mesmerized by the word mm -hmm. be consumed by the word you know just be a little sponge and soak up all the yeah. word on a daily okay. basis yeah. when you soak it up you know squeeze yourself a little bit <laughs> and all that word is going to just flow out of you mm -hmm. let that word just flow out of you mm -hmm. amen you can do this the Bible says you can do all things through Christ all things. amen mm -hmm. we, we use that real well in the, when we're in the world and when it comes to using it for God, the kingdom mm -hmm. of God you know, we say, well I can't do that, you know mm -hmm. all of a sudden we forget I can't, I can't, I can't mm -hmm. you see, he didn't say I can't do anything, he says you can do all things, all things. through Christ who strengthens you, That's amen it. so don't let your power, your authority your power go uh, to waste, use it. it don't let, don't be a weak defeated Christian Amen. And have the great, have, you have the greater one in you, and you have all the power in you, and you're being defeated. Mm. You gotta let that go. Yes. So don't live a defeated, wimpy, comfy life. Mm. Here's yes. the thing: is don't live to please the world. Don't live to please people. Live to please God. Amen. That's it. Amen. And sometimes you may be by yourself, but that's yeah. okay. He's never left you. That's and it. he's not going to leave you nor forsake That's you. It. That's it. Amen. So everybody's hanging out over there. Mm -hmm. So I need to be where the party's at. No. No. <laughs> no. That used to be me. Mm -hmm. But not anymore. I'm going to go where he tells me to go. You know, it might be a, a eunuch out there in the middle of the desert, you know, mm -hmm. uh, journeying, you know. And who do you send out there? Mm -hmm. Was it Paul? He, yeah. sent him, he sent him out there to minister to him. And oh. he got born again. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Amen. So praise God. Yeah. Amen. So there might be you. Might be You might be the only one. Mm. But you know, hey Lord, you can say on a daily basis, Lord, here am I, send me. Use me. And he will. Okay, so <laughs> be a participator, not a spectator. Yes. We don't get too deep in that, but mm -hmm. participate and do what the word of God tells you. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you're walking in fear, you're just going to spectate and judge and say, well, you know, hey, they didn't do this. They didn't do it this way. They didn't, it, it wasn't like this, you know. Mm. It wasn't the way it was at mom's church or dad's <laughs> church or so-and-so's church, you know. <laughs> they do it totally wrong, you know. Mm -hmm. Really, we're doing it God's way. So if you don't see it God's way, you know, hey, there's the door. Mm. But we're going to do it God's way. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amen. Hebrews uh, 13, 5 and 6, we've been confessing this all the time, but uh, it says, God says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. And verse 6 says, so we may boldly say, the Lord is my yes. helper, I will not fear. What can yes. man do to me? That's it. He formed me in my mother's womb. I was born and I'm living a life for him. Amen. Amen. So, I mean, what, what can man do? Exactly. Amen. Even if they kill me, I'll live. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. This is not my home. I'm just passing through. Heaven is my home. And this is what you need to know. So let go. <laughs> let go and let God arise. Amen. That's a great song. Amen. It says we must let him arise and not let God arise and not your doubts. Yeah. Let God arise and not your problems. Let God arise in any other thing that's not God. Don't let those things rise up. Mm -hmm. You know, you have the authority to keep them down. Yeah. You have the authority to cast them out and give it to him. You still holding on to him. Let him go. Since the body of Christ, we uh, goes against, uh, excuse me, I skipped something. It says, 
Let God arise. Let go and let God. Let God arise should be the church marching song. Yes. Amen. Let God arise and we're going to march. You know, he told Joshua what to do. <laughs> Joshua, the great general, he's going to put his best fighters in the front. Mm. God said, put the, the praiser, praisers up front. <laughs> yeah. Amen. So, let God arise should be our marching song on every every time we meet. Amen. <laughs> so, body of Christ goes against the power of darkness. And we go in His power. Yeah. Amen. We go in His power and guess what? Those powers have to come down. So, let God arise when we do. Things will come alive and the church will begin to press on and go forward. Mm -hmm. Amen. But let Him rise up. We must break out of our religious roots. Yes. <laughs> we must break out of our religious breath. Think we have to do it the same way and experience nothing. Mm. Away with powerless traditions. Away with mindsets. Mm -hmm. If somebody give you these things, we, we need to do it this way? Really? Uh, can you show me scripture? No. You know, yeah. well, we got these mindsets. It should be like this because it was always done like this. As God's people, we need to understand that God is not. We need to understand God is a God of diversity. Yes. He's a God of different different ways. Yes. And we see, when we read it in His Word, He isn't controlled by traditions, habits, the same ways, or always been done like this. Right. Amen. Don't try to put a limit on Him. He doesn't always manifest Himself or His power the same way every time. Right. Okay. He's He's different. And don't try to hold him and limit him. Amen. He, he don't work that way. Man, this different message, different results. <laughs> mm -hmm. Praise God. We'll be, we, we build spiritual ruts in our Christian walks when we put limitations on God. Yeah. That would require him to operate in boundaries that we think it should be done. Mm. Refuse to operate that way. Amen. I'm just going to leave it right there. Refuse to operate that way. Amen. And uh, so 1 Samuel 13 and four, uh, 13, 14 says, But now the, your kingdom shall continue, should not, should not continue. The Lord has sought for himself a man after his heart, his own heart. And the Lord has commanded him to be commander over his people because you have not kept what the Lord commanded you. So God described David as a man after his own heart. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you know what? We can learn from this. Mm -hmm. Amen. What can we do? Seek his heart. Yes. Seek his word. Yes. Amen. Says, <laughs> no enemy ever succeeded against him. Mm -hmm. He rose from a shepherd boy mm -hmm. to become the greatest king of Israel. Uh -huh. Listen, mm -hmm. God put you here. He didn't put you here to be defeated. He didn't put you here to lose. Yes, he put yes. you here to succeed. Yes. And just like David, you know, mm -hmm. you can succeed and you can become what God wants you yes. to, to be. And don't let people, don't let words hold you down That's it. to what God wants you to be. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, anyway, um, when the uh, prophet, the man of God came to Jesse's house, he had eight sons. Uh -huh. And God told him that the next king of Israel is coming from Jesse's family, you know, home. So he went and all of the seven boys went through in front of the prophet and said, nope, 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 no." Nope. I said, okay, Jesse, do you have any others? He said, oh yeah, I have one more. He says, but he's just a shepherd boy. Yeah. You know? That's what people and the world says about you. Oh yeah, you're but uh, you're nothing. And that's the world sees you. That's how people see you. You're just a somebody, a nobody. So the prophet says, go get him. And he brought the little shepherd boy and he passed in front of the uh, prophet. And he says, that's the one. So you're the one. Yeah, See yourself the way God sees you. A winner, a champion. Mm -hmm. Quit holding yourself down. Quit letting the world yeah. and things and words hold you down. Yes. Amen. You're a mighty man, oh God. You're a mighty woman of God. So start Amen. living that way. Yes. Amen. Amen. And start pressing and going on for Jesus. Yeah. 
get up. It's time to get up. Like the prodigal son, time, time to get up and come to Father, you know. You've been running from him long enough, you know. All you need to do is say, hey, Jesus, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord. Hey, Amen. And you know what? That day, that new David, that new you is going to rise up. Mm -hmm. You just had a spiritual birth. Yes. And the old is gone, the new is in, and you start pressing with him and doing for him and say, Lord, here am I, send me. Mm -hmm. Fill yourself with the word of God and go in, in victory. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. If you have sickness in your body, say, God didn't make this body to malfunction in any way. Mm -hmm. So I just speak life into this body by Jesus Christ. I am healed. No malfunctions in this body. Body, line up with the word of God. Receive your healing now in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. So be healed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. If you're giving, should be on the screen. Those of you watching, those of you listening, just go to our website, nbcbigben.com. Hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And Cash App, go to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. God bless you. God loves you. And we love you.